Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh al akhawat welcome back to my channel yes it has unfortunately been a very very long time and if you go back to my last video i said inshallah i would be uploading very very soon especially because i had a giveaway so first of all apologies inshallah i hope that uh, you're all in the best of health and iman um, as we are in this blessed month of ramadan inshallah ramadan mubarak and uh, we are coming to the end of it now sadly um, so inshallah you all had a blessed ramadan with your family given the current situation inshallah you were able to make the most out of this month and hopefully the majority of you inshallah you've been able to be with your families and um, being able to connect with them so inshallah you've all been able to have um, a blessed ramadan so this video i thought i would um, just uh, do the giveaway uh, inshallah later on in the video but also at the same time i thought i would record the um Eid gifts that i'll be giving this year um i did post on my instagram a few weeks ago um about the Eid presents that i've given away in the past and the different types of gifts and ideas etc and a lot of you sisters really really enjoyed it and thought they were really good ideas very unique and very different to what you've seen so Unfortunately, I haven't been able to record any of the previous gifts that I, I put together, but I will try and put up some pictures so you get an idea of what I did. But I thought now I would record it um, live for you guys. So if anybody would like to replicate this, inshallah, I will have all the information down in the description box below. So uh, as the current situation at the moment, um, I've not been uh, fortunate enough to gather with all my family, uh, my siblings and my nephews and nieces. So unfortunately I won't be able to give them um, the gifts right away, but inshallah I will give it to them as soon as possible. The reason why I didn't post this video before Eid, because I don't want to give away <laughs> what I've actually gifted, I'm actually gifting them because then it's going to spoil the surprise. So <laughs> this video will inshallah go up um, either on a day or the day after um, and it will be a very very nice treat as well because I will be announcing the giveaway uh, winner the winner of the giveaway should I say um, which is very very belated my apologies again so as I mentioned every year I do like to well since 2014-15 I've been um, gifting different things I don't tend to do the same kind of gifts each year in terms of how it's packaged how it's presented or the theme of the gift um, as you saw from the pictures I just posted so um, they, they are very different and presented in a different way or they have a, a certain theme <laughs> um, and uh, this year is no different so I was inspired by um, my manager at work who had this particular item on their desk and I thought oh that's really cute like very cute miniature cute and it would make a really good um, means of packaging a gift and holding a gift and uh, yeah so if I just show you what it is so <laughs> it's these cute little baskets they're actual shopping baskets and I think um, some cosmetic shops and all that actually use the, this kind of size because if their items are very small um, but it's absolutely adorable um, it's so kawaii and I just had my heart set on it um, and this was back last year um, in October September October time and I just yeah I just knew that whatever I was going to do this year it has to be presented in these little baskets um, so as it's a little shopping basket what better thing to put in here but mini um, groceries and mini <laughs> grocery themed items and little miniature bits and pieces um, I will link the website down below it was fairly cheap for these and I purchased one for each family member um, unfortunately they only had the red it would have been nice to have red for the ladies and then blue for the men but um, they only had the red and uh, yeah so I will show you what I actually put inside so this is a completed basket so it's very very full this is actually the one that I'm going to be gifting to my mum inshallah 
Um, and I will show close-ups of everything that's in here, but it's just so kawaii and cute. And I got the inspiration for the what I would want to put inside from um, some Japanese cosmetic stores. Um, they have like miniature cute little um, fruit and grocery item um, beauty products. So I kind of went off of that. Um, so got mini banana for, as a lip balm, banana hand cream, um, aloe vera moisturizer <laughs> and uh, these face masks, sheet masks, which are in the shape of like a milk carton. Um, I also put in some actual food item in here, which is these mini Marmites. They're so cute. <laughs> um, and then uh, these mini, uh, again, this is a face mask and it's uh, a honey, um, like a honey pack pot, you know, like at buffets at hotels. They kind of have the jams and honeys and butters and like, and even Marmite in these little small ones. But this is an actual face mask. Um, and this is really, really cute as well. So this is an actual avocado and it's a lip scrub. So I'll show you the close up and what's inside um, in more detail, inshallah. And then I also found these little green and black chocolate bars and they are, um, it's not gonna focus, um, just so cute. They're so quiet again, so small. And the piece de resistance, as they say, um, is the Moschino, is it Moschino, Moschino? Um, they had, this was quite big a few years ago, and it's the um, their eau de toilette, so their perfume um, in the shape of a spray bottle. And they've missed a huge opportunity here of actually making it so you can actually spray it, but you have to take it off to use it. But yeah, that's just so cute and it was perfect. So it's basically like a little basket of shopping. Um, and I just think it's, I would love to get something like this. Unfortunately, I didn't even get enough to give myself one. Um, so this is all for my family. But this is just one of the things that I do. Like I pick a theme and I kind of just run with it. <laughs> and who doesn't love miniature things? So everything is handy, it's travel size, it's compact, it's not big and bulky. And it's good because they can trial it. If they don't like it, then it's not going to be like they have to use all of it and complete it. They'll just try it if they want to buy more, they do, they can get the full size. Um, if not, then it's, it's quickly finished with. And like I said, it's just really cute packaging as well. I, I love miniature things. So inshallah, that's what I'll be gifting to all my family. This is actually what I'll be giving to the ladies. So this is all the women in my family will be getting one of these. So the men's one is slightly different. Unfortunately, um, Japanese um, and Korean kind of skincare don't make beauty products and miniature things for men in cute packaging as well. So um, I did my best. So I, I included still the green and black little chocolates and then it was kind of like miniature um, face washes and beard wash and shower gels and um, like small things to groom so nail clippers and that sort of thing so um, this is what the men will be getting not as nice as the ladies one of course um, but inshallah they will enjoy it anyway because it's practical and it's always so much more difficult buying for men because um, you don't have those cute things those girly things that women kind of appreciate men are not particularly fussed I find only I don't know if it's just the men in my family um, but yeah, so inshallah they enjoy this anyway, it will be useful, it will be practical and they still get the cute little basket so inshallah I do hope they like it. Also some other different kinds of things that you can gift which I have also um, will be giving to my parents inshallah are these um, beautiful dates, I've been getting them for a few years now and it's by the day tree, inshallah I'll show up, show close ups of it etc. Um, and it's just chocolate covered dates, but really, really nice and um, very unique combinations. And um, the way that it's presented as well is uh, very different. So without spilling the tray, um, these are the ones that they've got this year. So this is the theme um, um, and this is the only size that they do sell. So this is the 15 pack and um, 
they're really delicious dates. I haven't tried other companies, but I've always gone back to the datery just because customer service and um, the team are really great there and very helpful, respond really quickly to your queries and um, the quality is great as well. The other company that I really want to shout out as well is uh, where I got this lovely box of chocolates from. Um, this is Raffia, uh, flavours of Morocco, and uh, they are chocolatiers. So um, the thing that I really love from their company is their actual chocolates. Um, and the thing that I really liked the first time I purchased from them is that they don't give you a insert, so you don't actually know what the chocolates are until you try them, um, which was really nice because then it stopped me from going f directly towards what my favourites would be. So it, it made me try every single one in whatever order so um and it's presented absolutely beautifully um i love the presentation um again a big shout out to them their customer service is on point they're very very um punctual and very um timely with their responses and they're very personal people um and very helpful um i've ordered some biscuits from them as well for ramadan and because there was an issue with the delivery getting it to me the biscuits were damaged um so they actually sent me another box for free which was mashallah a really good gesture for them they really do put their customers first um but yeah this is another one and these make beautiful gifts as they are they're just really nice and pre nice presentable this is i think the smallest size you can get for the chocolates and then they have a huge one as well which is a little bit more pricey um but this one is perfect um just for me and my parents um and they've not actually tried these before so i'm really excited to see what they think about these again i will leave the links for the day tree and raffia london down in the description bar um, and there was one last other thing that I wanted to show which was actually gifted to me by a sister that I've known since I've been at university which was when did I graduate oh my god 10 years ago now subhanallah um, and this is from a company that I really love I love the company um, they are Muslim owned and um, it's always good to support Muslim companies, support our brothers and sisters and I absolutely love their products and I love Oud, anything that smells like Oud I really really enjoy so um, she actually got me the, I think it's like the starter gift set so there's like these, um, I think you can like hang them in the car or in your wardrobe, um, little scented disc and then there's the actual reed diffuser and then oh sorry that's the reed diffuser there and then that is the actual candle down here um, and they smell like old and mashallah very very nice strong smell um, and it definitely took me by surprise how potent the smell was so yeah that lovely sister sent it to me and it came in this nice beautiful black box uh, um, she knows who she is I won't say her name she might not want to be shouted out on YouTube but yes I, I really appreciated it and it's very thoughtful and I absolutely love this company as well so um, thank you so much um, so that's everything that I have to show you in terms of what I'll be gifting and gift ideas etc um, I will try and like again I'll try and link down everything um, so it's easy and uh, easy for you to find online everything that I got was from online so it's accessible to anyone who's got the internet inshallah um, and I guess there isn't anything else left to do but announce the winner and I'm so so sorry I've had sisters contacting me saying have you announced it already what's happening what's going on and I'm so sorry it's it's I, I don't know what else to say other than life work the current situation that we're in at the moment um, with isolation and everything it's just kind of turned everything upside down on its head um, and just generally life getting in the way. I do work full time, so it's difficult for me to film. I edit my own videos and I put a lot of effort into editing. So it takes pretty much a whole day, like 12 hours to edit a video. So it's not the easiest thing for me to do. Um, and I don't wanna just give excuses because everyone gives those excuses, but I'm just trying to explain myself, but I'm apologies and I will actually be putting in a few extra bits and pieces just as a, as a sorry um, but yes on to finding out who won it inshallah
Okay, so I'm just going to capture my screen on my computer um, and just show you. So these are everyone who entered on YouTube and um, on my Instagram. So these are the people who entered on Instagram. And as I promised, if you've entered on Instagram and on YouTube, then you will be entered in twice. So what I've just done is use this random website that picks random names and put everyone's name into there. Um, so I'm just going to now find out. <laughs> um, okay. So the winner is Vince Abel. <coughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, um, I hope um, this is a nice surprise for you and uh, what I will be doing is I will be reaching out to you, um, so I'll contact you on um, Instagram, I think is the best way, um, and I will just ask you to send me your address details or where you want me to post it to, inshallah. Um, but yay! Congratulations, you are the winner. Mabrook, mabrook, elf mabrook. So again, Jazakallah khair, alayhi fikum for all those that partook in the giveaway and for the support and for the sharing and the subscribing and the liking. It all helps, every little helps. So if you continue to do so, as I said in my last video, if I reach 10K, um, inshallah, I will do a, another giveaway, which will be even bigger and better, inshallah. Um, Jazakallah khair again. And I hope that everyone has a blessed Eid with their families, if you can be with them. Um, remember to stay safe um, and to look after each other and take care of one another. And call up your family if you can't be with them on Eid, even if you're just by yourself or with just your parents or your immediate family. Um, just make the most out of it. Still do the Sunnah of Eid day. Still get dressed up, do the ghusl, you know, have nice breakfast, um, go out for a nice walk if you can and have nice food and enjoy each other's company, get on Zoom or WhatsApp video or I'm not sure what other apps they have, um, but try and connect with your family and your friends and even send gifts to them. Um, my friends sent them to me in the post and that we've sent some to friends and family in the post as well so you can still get get um, gifts to them that way even if it's not in person but inshallah this will be a period to remember um, inshallah we don't have anything like this in the future you know Allah knows best but this will be something to remember for future that remember that time we spent Ramadan and Eid in lockdown um, due to this crazy virus um, but Allah grant everyone shifa who's been unwell and has been affected by this and unfortunately those that have passed away during this time and they haven't been able um, to be with your loved ones that you've you've lost and be there for them um, during their final hours or for the janazah because it's really affecting the Muslim community other communities as well um, but it is um, very sad that there are Muslim families that can't even attend the janazah um, so let's will make dua for them and um, inshallah I will see you in another video again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for partaking the giveaway um, so inshallah Allahu alam when it will be but I will try and upload very soon um, otherwise you can catch me on Instagram I'm really active on there so if you want to hear from me and get in touch with me contact me on Instagram inshallah take care assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and Eid Mubarak Oh, oh, oh. Doof, doof.